Hello everyone, welcome back to Molly's Cozy Kitchen. Today, we're going to be making tamago, a sweet and savory Japanese rolled omelet. Let's get started. First, we're going to need to crack two eggs into a measuring cup of the spout. The spout just helps us easily pour the egg mixture into the pan later on. So once we have the two eggs in there, we're just going to lightly beat that before we add the other ingredients. All right, and then we're going to add one teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of chicken broth, you can add dashi, but I like chicken broth, a half teaspoon of soy sauce, and one teaspoon of mirin, a sweet cooking wine that you can find at most grocery stores. Whisk that up until nice and combined, and move over to the stove. We have, I actually have a actual tamago pan that I have lightly oiled and set over at low heat. We're gonna get about a quarter, maybe a fifth of the egg mixture in there, and then it's set on top, but still kind of soft. Roll it up and continue on. Make sure that the egg mixture is sticking to each roll so that you roll it up in the middle of it and it forms a nice, gorgeous spiral. All right, you're just gonna keep doing that with the rest of the egg mixture, and it's fine if you want thinner layers, so you need to pour it more times. It'll just take a little bit of extra time, and you'll need to divide your egg mixture into more than just four little pours. All right, that tamago is looking absolutely gorgeous. This is a delicious protein-packed breakfast or lunch. My brother and I have made it for both breakfast and lunch. That's looking great. But so you don't have a tamago pan, well, you can just use a regular old circle pan. Same procedure as the tamago pan. We're going to lightly oil it and put it over low heat. And we're going to uh, wait until each thin layer sets up so that it's soft, but still slightly, but, but, st but set up as well. We don't want raw eggs in our omelet. All right, and then we're going to use a wide flat spatula to roll it up. I'm having a bit of difficulty because I haven't used a round one for making tamago in quite some time. But as you can see, it works just as great as the tamago pan. Of course, it's not going to look quite as restaurant worthy as the one made in the traditional pan. It's a bit browner. There's a bit more cracking. It's not quite as even, but it'll taste restaurant worthy. And that's what really matters, right? Food is about taste and comfort. All right, this is looking so good right now. And if some of the egg is starting to stick to the pan, you can re-oil lightly because some nonstick pans aren't always completely 100% nonstick and that's fine. All right, now let's give these both a taste. But first let's get a look at that gorgeous cross section of eggy spiral goodness because that is the test of a true tamago. And look at that gorgeous, gorgeous egg spiral. And let's taste it. It's amazing. It's sweet from the sugar and mirin, but it's nice and savory from the chicken broth and a little salty from the soy sauce. Let's see what my brother thinks though. Of course, he loves it. He and I both eat this all the time. It's super delicious and easy. What more could you want? If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. You can check out the full recipe at mollyscozykitchen.com. I'll see you all next time.